Hey guys, we're here at Epcot for Festival of the Holidays. We're going to check out some of the food options as well as uh, Illuminations, their nighttime spectacular with their um, holiday tag at the end of it. So come on, let's go check it out. Now, when you come to Epcot for any of the festivals, don't forget to pick up your pamphlet. In your pamphlet, it'll have a list of all the different countries and what they offer for both food, drink, and even merchandise and entertainment options. There's also some fun stickers in it so that you can mark things off every time you've done something or tasted something or tried something in the park. So this here is the eggnog and Bailey shake. You can find this at the refreshment port. Um, this is alcoholic, so you do need to be over the age of 21 to try it. They do have a non-alcoholic th version though without Bailey's Irish cream. So the eggnog shake is excellent. It's got a great eggnog flavor and a slight Bailey's flavor, but it's not overpowering. The Bailey eggnog shake is about $9.50 and it is kind of small but it's very rich so I definitely think it might be worth the price. Mm. Definitely delicious. So this is the slow roasted turkey dinner from the American Adventures American Holiday Table. It includes slow roasted turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, geese, green beans and cranberry sauce and it looks really good. We had this last year and this was one of our favorite uh, items um, from around the um, sh World Showcase. This is the cocoa candy cane hot chocolate with American Heritage milk chocolate, gourmet hot chocolate and peppermint snob which I'm very excited. It looks like there's also some marshmallows in it too, which looks pretty darn good. So we had the slow roasted turkey, which was excellent as it was last year. It's a great family, authentic Christmas or Thanksgiving meal. It's fantastic and definitely gets you ready in the spirit for the holidays. Um, and then we also had the cocoa candy cane hot chocolate with peppermint schnapps and it was fantastic. Like it, the eggnog shake it was also alcoholic um but it was delicious they also had a non-alcoholic option and as you can see it's all gone so obviously it was very good they also had um peppermint marshmallows which were um, an option to add as well as whipped cream and the peppermint marshmallows just added to that peppermint flavor and it was so good so i highly recommend definitely checking out the cocoa candy cane hot chocolate if you're over the age of 21. It was about $8.50 for it and I think it was a great value. So right here, this is the Crispel de Mele, um, which is an apple fritter with vanilla cream sauce and chocolate caramel sauce on top. This is $8 for the two of them. And then I have the Cavatappi Quattro Formaggi with truffle sauce, which is basically a Cavatappi uh, pasta with four cheeses and truffle oil on top. So they both look pretty good. I'm pretty excited about the Cavatappi, so we'll see how it is. Okay, so I'm gonna dig it. Nice breading on top. Pretty good sauce. Mm. Nice crunch from the breadcrumbs, and there's almost a slight, and maybe it's the truffle flavor. I'm not super familiar with truffle. It almost has a garlic flavor to it, which I really like. But this is excellent. You get a ton, and this is only eight dollars as well. So I'm pretty excited about this purchase. So this is the Crispel de Mealy, and it is a warm apple fritter. If you can actually see pieces of the apple in there. It's served on top of a vanilla cream sauce, and then it's got a chocolate caramel sauce top in it. So, to me, it kind of looks like donut holes with apples in the middle. So let's see how it tastes. And make sure you get some of the cream sauce. It's not bad. It tastes like a funnel cake that has apples in it with the vanilla sauce and I didn't really was 
wasn't really able to taste the chocolate caramel sauce, but it's decent. It's not bad. True. Overall, um, it's pretty good. I don't know if it's worth eight dollars. Maybe like probably the most I would pay for this would be like four fifty, five dollars. But it's a good sweet treat, especially if you don't want something like a ton of sweet. Um, it's not over the top like chocolate, candy, sugar. So it's a good option for um, a lighter dessert option. Mexico. Barcelona. 
watching Illuminations Reflections of Earth with the holiday tag for probably the last time unless we come back uh, before December 25th. Um, Illuminations has been with Epcot since uh, the Millennium Celebration back in 1999 to 2000. Uh, so it's been almost 20 years since Epcot has seen a new nighttime spectacular and it's definitely time uh, for Epcot to get a little bit of a reboot. Not that anything is wrong with Illuminations, it's definitely near and dear to my heart, but I'm very excited to see what uh, Walt Disney Imagineering can bring to Epcot's Nighttime Spectacular, especially seeing after what they did with uh, Wishes and converting it over to Happily Ever After. I think they did a great job with that, so I'm very excited to see that. Uh, we had a great time at Festival of, Festival of the Holidays here at Epcot. We had some great food, we had some great drinks, uh, we didn't have a chance to catch any of the storytellers, unfortunately, but that's okay. We got to see some of those last year. They're excellent, especially if you get here right early in the morning. Definitely recommend taking your time to spend some time watching the storytellers. They're really interesting, and they're very um, informational and entertaining as well. 